My name is David. I'm a rental property owner. I was using DocuSign and I switched to Adobe Sign. For more reviews like this, click below. Both of these products allow folks to sign documents digitally from anywhere, which is really helpful during quarantine, especially. And so both these products allow you to do your signing from wherever you happen to be. Adobe Sign is best for using signatures when you're working with PDFs. I mean, that is a proprietary uh, format for Adobe. And so Adobe Sign also functions well within the Adobe Creative Suite. Uh, if you're creating your document in one of their other products, it's really easy to use Adobe Sign uh, to follow up with uh, working through that, especially if you're using Adobe Acrobat as well. DocuSign is great for being able to virtually sign documents as well. Uh, it functions great as a web and app resource, uh, and it gives you a lot of versatility in where you can set things up. Um, and it's, it's a helpful tool to be able to use when you can't meet in person but need to sign an important document with all the right security protocols. Both products were pretty easy to get started with. Uh, DocuSign being web-based uh, is easy to jump in. The sign-up process as an end user is not very difficult. Importing a document, also pretty intuitive, um, and you're able to set up wherever you need signing locations. Adobe Sign was a little bit easier to use only because I'm also doing a lot of things in Creative Suite and was already using a PDF. So being able to manipulate PDFs in Adobe Sign was really easy because of how things function together um, in the Adobe world. Uh, and it was easy to get on board because again, uh, people were expecting to be able to sign things digitally now. And so uh, it was easy to use both because I've already had to use them on the other end by signing them before. When you're considering a software for uh, getting virtual signatures, you gotta consider your budget. Uh, both of them have costs associated. Uh, if you're already using Adobe products or you're using PDFs specifically, then Adobe Sign might be a better route to go because it already works in Adobe's world. If you're using Google Docs or Word Docs or other documents that need to be signed, then DocuSign could be a, a good resource for you. But again, consider the budget. If you're already paying for a Creative Suite, you already have Adobe Sign. If you're not yet paying for something, you're going to have to pay a little bit for the security features that are offered by both DocuSign or Adobe Sign.